Despite the often erratic schedule of the show, the hit series Blue Bloods is the gift that keeps on giving and fans can't seem to get enough. The show is now in its 12th season, is as popular as it was when it first aired back in 2010, and is considered by many to be the most beloved police procedural ever produced. So stay tuned and don't go away because the Blue Bloods dinner scenes aren't filmed when you think. First up, why are the Reagan family's Sunday dinners so special? Special. Let's take a look. For 10 years now, fans have loved watching the Reagan family as they navigate the challenging world of policing and crime enforcement in New York City. The drama series centers around former NYPD Commissioner Frank Reagan, played by veteran actor Tom Selleck, who needs no introduction. Frank is the patriarch of the Reagan family, and because of his position of power, he routinely butts heads with his children, who are also members of the law enforcement community. Frank's son, Detective Danny Reagan, is played by Donnie Wahlberg, the brother of famed actor Mark Wahlberg. Frank's daughter is an assistant district attorney named Aaron Reagan, played by the actor Bridget Moynihan. Both of the Reagan children struggle to carry out their duties under the watchful and often intimidating eye of their influential father. While the police work on Blue Bloods can be riveting and entertaining, what really keeps fans coming back for more is the Reagan family itself. For viewers who haven't dealt with the stress of family life in addition to the stress of a high-stress job, the series serves as a refreshing reminder that at the end of the day, we can get through anything with a loving and supportive family. The strength of the bond shared by the Reagan family is evident during the family's special Sunday dinners. This is when they sit, reflect on their weeks, laugh and cry together. The dinners are some of the show's most special moments because it humanizes the characters and makes them relatable to audiences. Next up, so when when are the Reagan family dinners filmed? Let's have a look. As is often the case, when you're dealing with any Hollywood production, whether in film or TV, all is not what it seems. In fact, production and set designer Jim Lillis has revealed some behind-the-scenes secrets regarding those famous Reagan family dinners, and some of them might surprise you. To our surprise, Lillis revealed that the food the actors eat is actually real, but the cast members aren't constantly eating for hours at the end. Lillis said, all the actors eat to varying degrees, some are good at faking it, they are very good at making it look like they're really enjoying a hearty dinner. And it isn't real wine the cast is drinking, it's just grape juice, according to Lillis. The dinner scene is usually first up on the shooting schedule. The Reagan family dinners come together with the help of Hollywood magic. However, they are authentic. They're one of the many reasons that fans keep tuning into the show and have for over a decade. While some of the cast members may be actually eating it's certainly not their dinner. In reality, it's more like a breakfast. Considering all of the dinner scenes are shot around 9 a.m., the food is catered in at around 7 a.m. so that the crew has enough time to prep the set for the scene. Up next, who are the most intelligent characters in Blue Bloods? You're about to find out. Some fans are constantly wondering which Blue Bloods characters are the smartest. So we're going to take a deep dive into the characters so you can see for yourself. In order to give audiences a broader, overview of how law enforcement works, the show tells the story from several different perspectives. Because of this, intelligence plays a key role in determining whether a character is street savvy or highly educated on more specific aspects of the law. Each character must bring their A-game and their intelligence in order to solve crimes. More importantly, they must ensure that they've done their best so that the charges they lay result in convictions. We've ranked the top seven most intelligent characters of the show, and we'll start with Eddie Reagan, played by actor Vanessa Ray. Having a con artist father forced Eddie to grow up fast. Along the way, she experienced a lot of hard knocks, made a ton of mistakes, and this led her to overcome those mistakes and do better. Her success as an NYPD officer stems from her self-determination, work ethic, and sharp street smarts. Eddie started out as a rookie who was very green, but partnering with Jamie helped to develop her strong moral compass. She identifies situations quickly, comes up with solutions, and spots the flaws in cases. She's done undercover work, dealt with internal affairs investigations, and has handled inter-policing squabbles with great skill. But Eddie's downside is her tendency to let her anger fuel her actions. However, over the years, she's learned to deal with her emotions in healthier ways. Stay tuned and don't go away because we're taking a deep dive into the minds of some of the smartest characters in Blue Bloods. Be sure to watch until the end because we'll reveal who we think 
think is the smartest of them all. Next up, who holds the sixth and fifth spots on our list of smartest characters? Coming in at number six, we've got Maria Baez. Baez became Danny Reagan's partner after Jackie Corotola called it quits in season three. Since then, Baez stuck around for the long haul. She is as street smart as Danny with a sharp eye for noticing details in cases that would otherwise fly over the heads of most detectives. Baez is also very clever, uses subtlety and persuasion while on the job, and this has carried her far. She's gone undercover to extract information, caught perps in the act, and often uses her disarming charm to get victims to divulge details about various crimes. Baez is also a master at reading Danny's body language, which tells her when to sweat a suspect. Coming in at number five is Henry Reagan. Many will argue that Henry is still the head patriarch of the Reagan family. As some of you may recall, Henry had a long and colorful career as the former police commissioner, before his son Frank Reagan took over the job. Henry is considered by some to be a relic from the past, which is a double-edged sword in a sense when it comes to giving wisdom. Henry sticks to traditional family values, with a strong sense of right and wrong, and this is driven mostly by family and community. Most of Henry's views about law and society, though are outdated, and don't account for the changing times. Up next, who sits at the number four and number three spots? Let's take a look. Sitting at number four is Danny Reagan, best known for being a hot-headed detective who can't get enough of his job. For Danny, new cases are an excuse to get out there and put bad guys away. It's this goal that drives Danny to perfect his detective skills. He's smart as a whip, yet doesn't understand the finer nuances of written laws. He's best at sweating perps and relies on clever tactics to squeeze the truth out of them. When he can't get a warrant, he'll resort to more deceitful, yet still legal, methods of interrogation to get a confession or to exact key information that helps save lives. At number three is Jamie Reagan. Introduced in the very first episode as the youngest of the Reagan family, he pursues being a cop despite earning a law degree. As such, he's viewed as one of the most inexperienced characters in the show. Jamie relies on the lessons imprinted on him by his family and balances them with a strict adherence to written laws. When he ascends to the rank of sergeant, he proves that he is one of the smartest characters on the show. Finally, the top two smartest characters at number two, Aaron Reagan. Aaron worked as a prosecutor before becoming an assistant district attorney, and her politically charged work environment often breeds conflict with the no-nonsense approach of the NYPD. Aaron has had to learn how to balance both worlds. She knows how to examine a case and move forward based on the letter of law. Like the rest of us, though, Aaron isn't infallible, but her ability to adapt is why she still thrives. Coming in at number one is the police commissioner of New York's finest, Frank Reagan. Frank deals with every single problem that comes across his desk, from internal squabbles inside the force to dealing with groups trying their hardest to smear the department. He also butts heads with the most powerful people in the state and fends off biased media scrutiny. He treads these waters carefully and relies on clearly defined concepts of right and wrong, with very little ambiguity in the middle. Frank refuses to go soft on his own people, and it helps him avoid future scrutiny. His grandfatherly wisdom helps to steer his children down the right path, and at every turn, he is a shining example for his family and those around him. As he carries himself with courage, honesty, integrity, and morality in an extremely politically polarized era. As a result, many believe that Frank is one of the top cops on television. That's a wrap for today's video, folks. Thanks for watching until the end.